Hey guys, welcome back to the BMW channel. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're installing an intercooler on the Mini Cooper. You don't want to miss out, so stay tuned. Alright guys, for those of you guys just tuning in, if you read the description, you know that today we're installing an intercooler on the Mini Cooper. If you guys are familiar with this R56 version of the Mini Cooper, these cars come turbocharged guys. Now that's a great thing. The previous model was a supercharged variant and it had an intercooler that sat on top of the engine. That's the reason for this functional hood scoop. Now, on the turbo variant of these cars, they did not come with a top mounted intercooler. It's just for aesthetics. Now that's unfortunate, but that does give you a wider variety of options for intercooler sizes. So as I'm sure you guys know, I did not spend a whole lot for this intercooler. As a matter of fact, I waited around for the right moment and I got this intercooler for $105, guys. But if you guys want to pick up one for yourself, you can check the link down in the description down below. Now some of you guys might be asking yourselves, Beamer Dude, why do I need to install an intercooler on my Mini Cooper? Don't they already come with one? The answer to that question is yes. Is it adequate? No. While this version of the Mini Cooper does come with a bottom mounted intercooler, it is far too small to keep up with the size and the diameter of the piping that is actually originally equipped with the car. Believe it or not, the intercooler that comes factory equipped with the Mini Cooper actually acts more like a bottleneck than an actual intercooler. Because of its sheer size and just the fact that it can't exactly flow the type of air that the system actually needs, you actually get a fair bit of heat soak because of the design. So guys, I'm starting to run out of daylight here. Let's get this thing installed. Guys, so one of the things I failed to mention was that I actually picked this up second hand on eBay. It was slightly used on a demo car and then put up for sale on eBay. Which is probably why I got it for a good deal. Seems to be a little slight bend on this tab over here on this side. But I'm not too worried. Uh, if I can't bend it back, I will probably just email the seller and see if they'll refund me uh, a little bit of the money. But I'm not too really too worried because it seems to be in good order. I'm just going to use a 16mm uh, wrench to gently bend back the aluminum tab there. We are, we are dreaming in the dark. We are nothing more than dust. Search for you, stay lost. Alright, so most of you guys are veterans, you've been on my channel for a good amount of time, you've seen me take this bumper off a time or two, but it has been quite some time. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and remove this front bumper right here, I'm going to need to get to these tabs that are actually behind the bumper and the fender flare on this side and the corresponding side over there. We're going to have to pull the front fascia off slightly in order to get to the factory intercooler. Uh, we're going to have to remove that and we're going to use the same couplers and the same intake hoses on the new intercooler. We are, we are reaching for the stars, but we're making this do and I wonder where you are. Mr. Yes, that's the part you always show, you're too curious. Maybe you should take it so. As you guys can see here, the factory intercooler is actually really puny. The aftermarket intercooler, it's actually triple the size. If you guys actually look at this intercooler, it's actually stepped. That step section behind the intercooler is actually the overall size of the original intercooler. So uh, naturally, as you could probably imagine, the airflow and the cooling capability is going to be at least doubled. So um, as you can see, it is getting a little bit dark on me. That's not going to deter me. We're going to go ahead and get this thing installed tonight. And um, let's see how she performs. Alright guys, 
guys so I was kind of hoping I could install this without having to jack the car up in the front but unfortunately since the clamps are only accessible from underneath the vehicle uh, I am going to have to jack the car up it shouldn't take too much extra time uh, just expect it to add maybe another five to ten minutes to this job can see this thing is seriously small and uh, I don't really know what kind of cooling this could provide but uh, I don't know need to go so it's time for it to go so for those of you guys who are curious the rest of the intercooler piping is uh, basically right there ready to receive the installation of the new intercooler is basically the reverse of what we just did so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and stop talking and uh, get this installed So that about wraps it up for today's video. As you can see, uh, this installation was pretty straightforward. Uh, other than removing the front bumper and jacking the vehicle up, everything else is pretty explanatory. Now, unfortunately, since it took me so long to actually do, I actually ran out of daylight and I actually ran out of time. So I will have to do another video at a later time and showing you guys a comparison between old intake temperatures and a new intake temperatures based off information I found on the internet. There are many reasons to install an aftermarket intercooler on your Mini Cooper. One of the reasons being the factory intercooler that the car comes equipped with is inadequate at cooling the intake temperature into the engine. One of the most unfortunate things about having a mismatched intercooler for a turbocharged system is that on these vehicles the DME actually starts to pull timing from the engine actually decreasing your power over time. But the proof will come after we test the intake temperatures post intercooler installation. So guys do me a huge favor go down to the comments down below let me know what you liked about the video let me know what you disliked about the video and while you're there go ahead and hit that like button hit the subscribe button hit the alert button if you want to be alerted for more videos. So guys hopefully I inspire one of you guys to actually install an intercooler on your car now that you know the reasons why you need to do it you need to do it now. So guys again thank you for watching the new channel and as always peace out and Godspeed guys.